Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Also, my thank you for the organizer for inviting me to present this paper, which title is Protecting Amazon Tropical Forests for the Future. We have a program in our state of Sao Paulo, which name is Friends of Amazonia. The main ob objective of this presentation is to show how important is the wood anatomy and the wood identification in order to contribute to protecting the Amazon tropical forest. Uh, the main focus of the presentation is to explain with detail, in details, the program which name is Sao Paulo Friends of Amazonia. The, call, the, the author of this paper are, uh, my name is Mario, I'm a forestry uh, in the rest of Sao Paulo and also uh, Professor Luis Santini and Sandra that belongs to the Forest Institute of Brazil. So uh, we go through several items and some of them um, my colleague from Brazil, Erika, already explained about some his historical aspects of Brazilian colonization. So we explain about the first settlement in Brazil, uh, some topics concerning wood and forest culture, uh, the arrival of Portuguese, and the first forest activity in Brazil. Also search for tropical timber, timber trade market in Sao Paulo, and uh, some conclusions. Uh, as you know, Brazil is the only country in the world that has the name of a tree species. So our history is very strongly linked with trees and, and wood. Uh, the first settlement, human settlement in Brazil is dated in 15,000 or 20,000 BC. That time and nowadays the indigenous use it wood for different purposes, uh, like uh, canoes, apples, fire, construct, etc. Also, they use a specific species for a specific uses. So, less dense wood uh, and the bamboo comes for arrows and arch using high wood density and for houses using wood with a high natural resistance against decay and for canoes uh, low density and thick bark tree species. So you can see some figures very famous like this one, some indigenous people hunting ducks. This is a Deborah, very famous picture. But the history changed dramatically when the Portuguese arrived in the country or the new continent. So the contact with Portuguese and the indigenous people uh, started that you call the first forest active in Brazil. So the people in Europe were seeking for natural products to carry and to use in, in Europe, like the wood resources that you have in Brazil that time. So they found uh, uh, one very important species common in, in the coast and in the, in the river of the new continent, which name is uh, Ipó Brazil. So you have a very old wood carving that show you some indigenous people cutting and transporting Brazil wood to, to the chips and after this to transport to Portugal. And some statistics show that uh, a lot of a high quantity of Brazilian uh, red wood was cut and transported to Portugal. So the, the result that time, uh, nowadays, this, this is, species is considered dangerous and uh, uh, protected by the law. So, uh, 
in our country, the Atlantic forest is already, um, you have almost 80% of the natural area of Atlantic forests. So you, you do not use any more the wood from this part of the country. So the Amazon rainforest is the, nowadays the main source for, of wood for national and international markets. So the, the people in Brazil is the users. Now is replacement of wood species uh, uh, using more tropical in and change it to uh, Parana pine and uh, uh, rose marogony. So we are, we are living in the state of São Paulo. And this is the main state and the more industrialized state. So the consume of tropical woods in your state is, is too high. And is the higher consumers of wood in Brazil. So we are using 15% of tropical woods uh, from Amazon. That means almost 4, 4 million cubic meters a year. And uh, the main producer state is, is called the state of Pará, that produces almost 50% of total wood uh, available in internal market. So it is necessary, that's important, to, to control and to establish a, a regulation of tropical timber trade from Amazonia in the internal market of Brazil. And uh, the government created a, a control. And uh, in 2006, uh, a new model of document was, was implanted in order to control better, uh, including the species identification. So now uh, it's necessary a license to, in order to control the transport of wood and wood products to the north, from the north to the south of Brazil. The main problems are how to implement the, the control of timber trade in Sao Paulo State and other states of Brazil. As you know, the identification of wood species in tropical areas is so, so hard concerning the, the, the diversity and concerning the similarity of wood structures in same groups of three species. And uh, it's common for using uh, the same common name for different three species. And uh, it's so important, strategic, and essential to spread and use the wood identification as a tool to assist the enforcement actions and the to regulate the wood commerce. And uh, the limitation is to find people specialized in wood identification uh, of tropical species. Of course, no? there are experts in wood identification of tropical timbers in universities and in research institutes in Brazil and other countries. Of course, there are collections of tropical woods as well extensive bibliography. The question is, no? the, ex the ex extreme diversity of species and the complexity of the, their identification by wood. And you need to use a key for wood microscopy identification and uh, there is a lack of efficient systems for identification by electronic means. So, that's often, no? 
and necessary to identify the wood species by using wood direct examination in the forest, even in the truck when the logs are transported, or even in the area of the industry. Also necessary to training technicians able to work with, with that identification and uh, to identify, identify with, with efficient and the accuracy the three species. Some of people present here knows very well that in Brazil, uh, before a lot of people are able to identify species, but nowadays the wood anatomist is more dedicated to wood biology and other specialities. So uh, the, the number of people able to identify is very scarce. This is the, the flu that uh, this, that program is applying in order to control the wood trade commerce in Brazil. So the, 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 the timber in the commerce in Sao Paulo is, is increasing every, every year. And uh, it's necessary to control and to regulation the wood trade. So this project is, was established in order to inspect the timber trade in the, in the, in the industry, in the companies, and also to, to go to the highways with, with people in order to check no? and to prohibit the entry of illegal timber in the city of Sao Paulo. That's the, aim, that's the main objective of, of this program. And uh, the, the, the actions of this program was supported by, by the law. The state of Sao Paulo signed the law. Uh, this, this program is recently established. And uh, uh, the people trained by the program visited the commercial and industrial companies uh, resisted in, in, the, in, the, in the program. And uh, in this inspection, uh, the, the documents are checking, and uh, the, the wood volume are calculated, and of course, the wood identification was done by specialized people. One important thing is this program involved three main parts or three main institutions. Uh, the policy for the conference of the documents, people specialized in assessing the volume of timber and the technicians for wood identification and, if necessary, collecting the wood images and send this wood by, by uh, internet or other other possibilities to laboratory for confirmation of three species. This uh, possibility uh, get more easier and more effective the other identification because you have a central laboratory receiving images sent by by several peoples and you, you can you could confirm the species uh, comparing in the with the collection if necessary. So until now, the project results in more than 103 species described, ident identified and cataloged. And uh, this bibliographic material constitutes uh, de a database for the field and laboratory identification for training and also for qualification of people. So we can see an example of the one, one tree species, which, which name is Mononobea. So you can 
have a, a figures of the uh, all, all the uh, micro and the microscope identification and also the, the description. Some problems that we found during the uh, establishment of this program. Uh, some woods are erroneous uh, grouping by common name. So we have to correct this. Wood trade based solely by the common name of the species. They do not they do not use scientific names for for the trade. That that's that's a problem. Wood from distinct species marked as the same species. And also wood separation criteria that is necessary to use anatomy, color, density, texture, etc. Also, wrong wood name indication. Environmental pressure of certain wood species. Some prohibited wood species, uh, the people are using another common name, and more than 37 municipalities were visited at the moment, and almost 100 companies and industries. If the company was approved by the inspection of these wood stocks, uh, those companies receive a, a document or certificate uh, confirming his uh, suitability and correctness. And uh, some main remarks and conclusions. The Amazon tropical forest supply the domestic and foreign markets with a high wood quality. And many species is getting to over exploitation. Efforts to control chipping and timid for high consumption centers are important to safeguard and preserve these forests. Sao Paulo program, Friends of Amazonia, is an important initiative in order to oversee and regulate the trade of tropical timbers. Surveys are applied in the phase of wood transport, storage, and collected samples for the species identification and faced with the documents. And uh, the program indicated the effectiveness of the wood anatomy. That's an important thing. The wood anatomy as a tool for the identification, monitoring, and regulation of illegal wood trade in Sao Paulo State. That's all. Okay, thank you. <laughs>